All right, well, what you guys are looking at here is the top blade is a Lawn Humphrey custom knife, Mercada handle, Scandi grind, very thick, hardy knife, uh, very large. The next one is a Heli Ning, which is world renowned for its ability to carve and uh, handle the bushcraft elements. Your next one down here is your Okanil Carbon knife. Uh, a favorite of all bushcrafters. So uh, what I'm, what basically you're going to be watching is me carving, uh, doing some stuff just at my desk. I am in the sitting position and not in the optimum optimum position to be carving, but uh, I just want to demonstrate the ability um, of the Lawn Humphrey knife. Uh, even though it's a large knife, you have an awful lot of control uh, due to its uh, blade width. Uh, it really allows you to uh, utilize your other hand, your thumb, uh, to control the blade. And when needed, it can really do some quick chopping. Uh, so remind you, I'm not in a standing position uh, or, you know, taking one knee. I'm actually sitting on a desk trying to maintain camera position. So uh, that really adds to the challenge of being able to cut with these knives. So you can just see the difference. You can notice right there how much control I have with the Lawn Humphrey knife. Now all these, well the only one that's really been used an awful lot, well actually the two that have been used an awful lot is the Lawn Humphrey knife and then also the Opinel. So they all have been, uh, they're all a little bit, not as sharp as they were when I received them, but uh, you can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, I found the Opinel a, a, a very good knife, very small, compact, um, very sharp. All three of these knives are excessively sharp. I mean, just Scandi grind and convex grind, uh, very well suited for bushcraft. Got a piece of wood here, uh, just to demonstrate uh, the knives cutting abilities. Now in the right hand screen there, you can see me what I'm doing over there is I'm actually uh, cutting a notch. And when doing this, I found that the Lawn Humphrey knife definitely had the advantage in this. Um, due to the thickness of the blade, I really felt comfortable uh, placing it in there and twerking it back and forth. The, now, you, now you can see everything slipping all over the place on the left hand side there. but. You can see that I uh, really have a lot of control with the Lawn Humphrey knife. The Opinel is a very sharp knife. A little, compare, comparing this to the other two is really unfair. With its small handle, you really have a lack of control. Uh, but its compactness is wonderful. If I had to choose a pocket knife to take into the bush, I would definitely choose that. But comparing it to two fixed blades is really unfair, but uh, both these fixed blades have extremely good control due to their large handle size. I'm a big fan of a large handle. It gives you a really good purchase on the knife. You can see that the Lawn Humphrey knife really has a lot of power behind it and has the ability to do uh, basically anything out in the field that you need to. Here's me just messing around, stabbing them. You're going to see all these knives fall over. I can't really, it's uh, 11 o'clock at night and I really didn't want to wake up my family slamming things into my desk. But um, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to um, try to dull the knife or break the tip. 
in the right hand corner I'm doing the same thing I'm just trying to somewhat abuse the knife to see if it actually loses or folds the edge <laughs> dig it in there and I'm just gonna twist it around to see if I can uh, if it's gonna fold the edge if it's and if it hasn't been heat treated correctly what you are gonna do is you are gonna bend that edge and or dull it if anything what I did is I polished the edge by doing that the knife really is uh, stout and uh, can really take a lot of abuse but it's just razor sharp and it maintains its edge wonderfully let's try doing it on the tip there You can see the edge with use, it just gets shinier and shinier. It's actually just polishing it up, it really just maintains an edge wonderfully. Now here's with the Ning. I started to do it, but I was watching the tip as I was doing it. I could see that the tip was going to uh, most likely snap on me and or bend. I didn't want to destroy my knife, so I pretty much stopped there. And here I am with the open o. Um, I could see the tip bending, so I stopped. I didn't want to damage my knife. I love all these knives. They're all fantastic knives. The lawn, on the other hand, I felt very comfortable just you know, digging in there and seeing what I could do. What I'm doing right here, I have no clue, but uh, it's all part of the... Uh, I'm just going to leave it in the video. I guess I was trying to uh, utilize the knife in a less orthodox manner. You can see how sharp it is. It's just really digging into that. That's a pine stump. Portion of a pine stump. So you can see the lawn Humphrey knife definitely had the advantage in all the aspects of bushcraft. And it's just a wonderful piece of art. These are for sale in my store. Uh, go to the About section in my channel, and I hope to see you guys there. Later.